der, die, das. Do you know what these are? There are three definite articles in German that are used with the nominative case. Let's learn them. Hello everyone and welcome to our video series on Learn German for Beginners. We will be learning about the three definite articles in German. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for learning German for free and in the easiest way. We offer structured courses for A1, A2, B1 and B2 and a variety of topics from grammar and vocabulary to common mistakes one can make in German. You can also visit our page on patreon.com to get free worksheets, transcripts, early access to our videos and more. You can find the links below in the description. Lektion 19 Artikel im Nominativ Teil 1 Let's first go through our learning objectives for this lesson. First of all, we'll understand what is Nominativ, wer und was. It is also important to understand what is a Substantiv, after which we'll be discussing the various types of articles. And in this video, we'll be doing basically the definite articles. So, let's begin. Nominativ. Well, the most important thing in a sentence to understand is Nominativ. Let's look at two examples. Sabine ist ledig. Das Haus ist groß. Let's look at the subject in both these sentences. Sabine and das Haus. Here the subject is the nominative case. As we have already discussed in the previous chapter, the subject conjugates the verb. In this case, the verb is ist. To understand this better, a sentence, Satz, is made up of Subjekt plus Verb. Subjekt is always nominative and the verb depends on this Subjekt. The Subjekt can either be a Nomen or a Pronomen, which can either be singular or plural. In Lesson 11, We already did pronouns. Now let's move on to the noun. Nomen, also known as Substantiv, can either be a person or Sache. And these can also be either singular or plural. A noun is always accompanied by an article. This article is placed before the noun. Let's look at two examples for Person und Sache. Wer ist das? Das ist Peter. In the case of person, your question is formulated with wer. You can see the answer. It's with Peter. Let's look at the other example. Sache. Was ist das? Das ist ein Bus. Whenever you're talking about a thing, your question will be with was. Basically, the questions wer and was help you in identifying the nominative. Der Artikel In plural, die Artikel It is important to remember that in German, all nouns have an article. Und Artikel steht vor dem Substantiv. All nouns have an article, which stands before them. Do also remember that all nouns begin with a capital letter, irrespective of the fact whether it's a common noun or a proper noun. In German, there are three kinds of articles. The definiter oder bestimmter Artikel, the indefiniter oder unbestimmter Artikel und Negationsartikel. In this lesson, we'll be doing Bestimmte Artikel im Nominativ. So, let's look at some sentences. Der Mann ist glücklich. In this sentence, Mann is nominative subject and a nomen. If you look carefully, it has an article. And the article here is der. Similarly, the next sentence. 
Der Apfel ist rot. Apfel is das nominative subject, which is a noun, and the article is der. Article der ist maskulin. Let's come to the next article. Die Frau trinkt Wein. Here my article is die. Die Katze ist freundlich. Here my article is again die. The article die is feminine. The next one is das. Das Baby ist süß. Here you can notice Baby is the nominative subject and the article is das. Das is the article for neutral. Similarly in the next sentence. Das Haus ist groß. The noun in the sentence is Haus and the article is das. I am sure you already noticed some of the nouns here in these examples are either persons or things. Irrespective of that, all of them have an article. So there are basically three articles, der, die, das. Let's look at the plural article. Die Kinder spielen. Similarly, the next sentence. Die Bücher sind bunt. As you can see, the article for plural is the same as that for feminine. Die. Bestimmte Artikel im Nominativ. Let's look at this table to understand this better. As we just discussed, there is an article for singular and there is an article for plural. In singular, the article for masculine is der, for feminine die, and for neutral das. The article in plural does not depend on the gender. It's always die. That means der Mann, die Männer, die Frau, die Frauen, das Baby, die Babies. As you can see, the article of plural is always die. A simple way to learn these articles is by just writing er for der, e for die and s for das. To practice what you have learned, become a patron free of cost and download a free worksheet from our page on patreon.com. All links can be found below in the description. You can also gain access to our transcripts by becoming a $1 patron and to our podcasts by becoming a $5 patron. Danke! Thanks for watching this video. If you liked this video, do give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you still haven't. You can click on the bell to receive notifications whenever we upload a new video. If you have any comments or questions, you can leave them in the comments section below. Tschüss! Auf Wiedersehen!